we're gonna learn cursive and first we're gonna start with the letter a so in like a cursive book they'll write a cursive a like that but they're lazy because they don't have that tail so if i want you to draw apple you start with the tail go loop then go around then that then make the tail then the rest of your letter So that's apple, you guys. Oh my gosh, how big is this? Okay, now we're gonna do B. B is really weird because B doesn't, it has the tail, but it's not really like the lowercase B and normal letter so let's do like B you start with your tail go up make a loop then go there then connect with your letter so if I wanted to make like banana I start with my B and then go and then there then make my A then N, and then, yeah. I don't know if I spelled banana wrong, but that's B. Now we're just gonna do C. C is also lazy because they don't follow the tail rule. So we're gonna add the tail because in my cursive book at school, they're really, really lazy and they don't follow the rule of cursive that you need to do it. So let's do it. So let's do C. Normal C is like that. And let regular C. This is normal way. But the cursive is really weird. So if you want to make the upper. So C is like do that. It's like your A, but you don't go all the way down and make your tail. So if I wanted to draw a car. I start with my C, and then the A, then R. That's par. This is normal. So, if you guys didn't know, I was using my iPad. Okay, guys, I'm still working. I just need to help my sister with something. Okay, now we're gonna do D. D also has the breaking rule of cursor. And I'm gonna have a part two of uppercase instead. So D, normal D like that. But the cursive, you do that, then you go up, then down and connect with this tail. This tail is just the beginning, but you also have to have the tail. Okay, that's not.
Okay, guys, I'm just going to do letter E now. Has, does not have the breaking rule, so we don't need to color it in rainbow. So let's just use like an ordinary color like pink. So we're just gonna make, it's like our L. Start from the bottom, we make that, then that, and connect with our tail. You see the difference? This is just a little bit slanted, and this is, like, normal. So, if you guys didn't know, I made a video last night about math with my sister. And guys, check that out. Okay, now we're going to do F. So F does not have to break in you. Bottom, loop, then under the line you make that. So let's just make the line. Okay. So you make the loop, go down, then make the rest of the letter. So if I wanted to make frog, um, so start with my F. Rock. Frog. I don't know if my handwriting is bad. Bad, guys. I'm really sorry. And my sister is in the background. So, hi. Hi. so we're going to continue all the way to Z. Which I need to make a part two because I might go to school. So, we continue, 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 continue. Okay, so, G has the breaking rule, rainbow. G has a breaking rule. Because they don't have this tail so normal g they did the normal g like that in a book but where's my tail i need to add the tail so like my a i go make a round come down then make my g then tail and continue Just like that. The books sometimes are lazy, guys. So, I'm sorry. Guys, I think I have to make a part two later. So, we need to stop at G. Maybe we can do one. Maybe we can do H. 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 bottom rope there so if i wanted to make horse 